The Philippine Coast Guard PCG, warmly welcomed Hun. Natsuo Yamaguchi, Chief Representative, Komato. O onboard BRP Melchora Aquino O Pier 13. South Harbor, Port Area, Manila. In recognition of the need to further enhance the capabilities and effectiveness of the PCG in safeguarding its maritime interests and ensuring the safety and security of its maritime borders, Hun. Yamaguchi expressed his support for the acquisition of an additional 97-meter Japanese-made vessel. The Philippine Coast Guard PCG, plans to acquire five additional 97-meter offshore patrol vessels from Japan as it seeks to beef up its presence in the West Philippine Sea. The plan has been submitted to the Department of Transportation, which would be forwarded to the National Economic and Development Authority for processing. Moreover, Hun. Yamaguchi elaborated on his pursuit of providing more education and training opportunities for the PCG with the inclusion of the Maritime Safety and Security Policy Program MSP, as he is the founding father of this. As the Philippine Coast Guard faces full-on aggression from the China Coast Guard just recently in the West Philippine Sea, ideas sprouted about adding more white hulls into the fleet. The Maritime Law Enforcement Agency aspires to get larger ships such as its Teresa Magbanua class MRRV flagships that help augment its smaller Parola class MRRVs, both produced in Japan. Earlier last January 2023, the Philippine Coast Guard expressed its desire to gain an additional five more 97-meter multirole response vessels. Teresa Magbanua class MRRVs, from Japan, as this intention has discussed by the PCG Commandant before his audience of the delegates representing JICA or Japan International Cooperation Agency. This is the latest in the series of modernization efforts surrounding the Philippine Coast Guard's fleet composition since the addition of the newly gained vessels like the said 97-meter multirole vessels that currently came with two, two, units, 10-1044-meter Parola-class vessels that also came from Japan as the Teresa Magbanua-class and the BRP Gabriela Salang, OPV-8301 from France's OCEA. Having additional Teresa Magbanua class MRRVs in the Philippine Coast Guard, to take notes, may increase not only the presence of these ships in contested waters like the West Philippine Sea as it augments the smaller Parola class MRRVs, but also has the capability of long endurance and loitering time in offshore waters which is ideal in countering ongoing Chinese Coast Guard aggression in the area. The Philippine Coast Guard played a very essential role in ensuring presence in the West Philippine Sea, as this is the lawful way of enforcing its absolute right of patrolling the area surrounding the Calayan Island Group following the 2016 Arbitral Tribunal ruling that provide the victory to the Philippines as it nullifies Chinese claims in the area. The larger Teresa Magbanua-class multirole response vessels MRRVs, have a significant advantage that came with its size as it has the better endurance or the cruising range and time spent for the vessels to loiter the West Philippine Sea for a longer time period. As compared to the 44-metered Parola-class Moody Roll response vessels like the BRP Malapasqua, MRRV 4403. Both the cruising and maximum speed between two multi-roll response vessels of the Philippine Coast Guard are negligible to each other as the 2,260 tonnage of the Teresa Magbanua-class MRRVs require a more powerful main engine, which is the 2 by 6,600 kW diesel engines it has on board, comparing to the smaller and lesser powered 2 by 2,580 kW diesel engines sufficiently enough for the 321 tonnage Parola-class MRRVs. 
The larger dimensions that the Teresa Magbanua class multirole response vessels offer help increase the prolonged presence of the Philippine Coast Guard in the West Philippine Sea. Whereby the idea of adding more similarly sized vessels gives the agency increased capability to further implement its maritime domain awareness and security that the Philippine fisherfolk in the area needed as they faced harassment from China Coast Guard. Along with ensuring deterrence from these white-hulled threats from the area without the escalation that usual naval, grey-hulled vessels brought.